looking across the rooftops of all these buildings in Paris. And I said, man, that would be cool. And he has to have like an umbrella and he's got to have this hat and maybe he can fly or something. Um, There's a little Peter Pan in my head. But um, many years forward, the, 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 what this character could do and what he stood for took a lot of different left and right turns. At some so point, it imagined, I imagine that this character lived in the dream world. Um, so I came up with these ideas of what the dream world should look like. And I was like, well, the shit's got to glow. <laughs> um, and then I'm all, then there's got to be like epic battles and there's got to be these guys on glowing motorcycles. And, and I kind of had all these big macro ideas, big broad brush strokes, but it wasn't until Suzanne came in that she goes, okay, uh, come on, Suzanne, come on. Well, she says, it's really cute that your motorcycles glow. Um, how about we put like a real story together? I was like, as long as everything glows, I'm kind of cool. Right? Um, so this is my attempt at creating a story that uh, one of the most important things about this, and it's probably only going to be known to, to the core group uh, of fans like you guys, is that um, through the years I've seen people that have gotten tattoos and I've seen people do things that kind of stamp something in their life that I've been a part of. Um, you know, for the people that have the love tattoo, what was cool about that was it was really acknowledging what we were, an art project where we were trying to portray people looking a little inward and seeing themselves differently, seeing the world differently and, and potentially step by step changing their view of, of their existence and how they connect with other people. But with Poet, the whole idea was that for the few of you that may or may not choose to, to be a little bit more connected to Poet Anderson, it's about being a dreamer and labeling yourself as a dreamer and labeling yourself as somebody that has extraordinary vision and the capability to make your life experience what you want it to be. So without trying to sound like, um, you know, some philosophizer. Uh, isn't that on Bill and Ted's? Philosophize. Uh, uh, but I'm into stuff like that. I'm into big ideas and things that have meaning. So we will talk about the book. We're going to sign some stuff. And um, feel free to ask Suzanne any question you want to. And, uh, and, uh, but I really, really, really am so stoked to be on a book with her. Um, she, I said this before that you didn't need to take that chance to do this with me, but you did, thank God. And, um, you know, shit, I got a novel out today. Hi. I just want to say that from the minute, I'm going to sit down though, because to me, that's what's going on.